Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in southwest Surrey and a place I've never ever been to, driven through it many times. I'm at the Devil's Punch Bowl at Hindhead. The last time I sort of drove through here properly was sort of before the A3. I mean, I've been through the, the tunnel, but I remember going up and down the old Portsmouth Road, going down to Portsmouth and doing paranormal events back in the sort of late 09s, 010s, 011s. But uh, yeah, back in Hindhead. And I'm here at the Devil's Punch Bowl to tell you the tale of the murder of the unknown sailor. So it was back in September 1786 that his sailor was walking from London to Portsmouth, a bit of a walk, to join his ship at the docks. And he stopped off at the Red Lion pub in Thursley, which is now a private residence. And he befriended the three other sailors who were down on their luck, didn't have any money, not a penny to their name. So he paid for their drinks and paid for their food. When they left the pub, which is the last time they saw the sailor, they're walking down this stretch of road where, after all the generosity that he, that he gave these three people, they brutally murdered him. The, the spot where we're going to now. Absolutely tragic. When the body was found, very very soon afterwards his head was almost decapitated and all his clothes had been taken. The assailants, the ruffians as they were called, were found trying to sell his clothes a couple of hours later in a pub in Rake in West Sussex and they were duly arrested. They um, were tried at the Kingston Assizes and in December 1786, they were hanged. And a triple gibbet was erected up here on Hindhead Hill. The three men were tried on the 17th of April, 1787, and sentenced to hanging where their bodies were gibbeted on a triple gibbet up here on Hindhead Hill. And here it is, the Sailor's Stone, erected in defilation of the barbarous murder committed here on an unknown sailor September the 24th, 1786. This is resurrected in his memory. This stone was erected uh, AD 1786 by James Stilwell, Esquire. So that brutal murder happened here. Brutal murder happened here. Terrible. Especially when someone was just giving, being, helping out someone else and got repaid for that generosity with his life. What a glorious setting, look at that. A bit bleached out with the, uh, the sky, but it's lovely. And that's the old Portsmouth Road before the Hindhead Tunnel was built. Uh, little trivia fans, by the way, if you're a Doctor Who fan, Doctor Who and the Silurians, a 1970 story with John Pertwee was filmed all around Hindhead and all around the Devil's Punch Bowl. Okay. Let's leave this sad tower and go up and look at the gibbet. Celtic cross on the site of the old gibbet on Gibbet Hill. This little area here started to build up its own folklore in the light of the murder and the gibbet and people wouldn't come up here. 
it said that grass wouldn't grow. So it was a very, very eerie place, especially in the windswept winter, unlike today, which is like 30 degrees and warm and sunny. So in the mid-1800s, a local landowner uh, erected that Celtic cross to dispel rumours to make the villagers feel a little bit more at ease. But yeah. And a trig point from 1936, there. Whatever you, I can't believe I've never been to the Devil's Punch Bowl before. So there, the gruesome murder of the unknown sailor. But when he didn't report in, in Portsmouth, wouldn't they have said, hold on, so-and-so's missing, he hasn't turned up for work. Couldn't they deduce it from then? I don't know. But what we're gonna do now is go down to Thursley, the village of Thursley, and the church there where there's the grave of the uh, unknown sailor. It says here, the A3 Hindhead Tunnel is 65 metres, 213 feet below this point, which I've just driven through. The old Portsmouth Road was notorious for highwaymen, right up on from Wimbledon Common down to Portsmouth. Notorious. That should make an interesting video someday. So we're in Thursley, the ancient village of Thursley, which has got Scandinavian origin. Thursley meaning Thor's Lee, L-E-A, Thor's Lee. Not the MCU Thor, the real Thor. But yes, we're just gonna look out for um, the unknown soldier's grave, which is near here. We're actually on the Green Sand Way as well, the Green Sand Way. Well, it's very bright, but here it is, the grave of the unknown sailor with a horrible depiction of the murder happening on the gravestone, because obviously the gravestone is, is a little bit later. In memory of, I uh, can't read, a lot of the writing you can't read, but there is a trans, trans, uh, translation on Wikipedia. Uh, the unfortunate sailor who was harassingly murdered on Hindhead, where we've just been, of course, uh, September the 24th, 1786. Poor guy. Just helping people out, and that's what he got paid for with his life. There's a little entry in my book, Paranormal Surrey, about the hauntings. I know I don't use that word, but it's folklore, isn't it? Um, there are legends that the spirit of the unknown soldier still haunts this windswept and desolate area over on Hindhead and by the commemorative stone. Local folklore says no grass or wildflowers will grow there, which I said earlier on. Um, I think that's just folklore, really. Yeah, very, very sad tale. So this is St Michael and All Angels Church. Anglo-Saxon in origin. Keep kicking myself, keep thinking I'm still in Surrey. Surrey's quite a big county, but a um, place I've never been to before. And here is a place I've never been to before. I wonder if it's open. Should we have a quick look before we go?
Interesting chest there from 1622. 1622. And I've really got to remember to bring out some money so I can buy some of the guidebooks. Um, keep forgetting. Now this must be rare. People who know in the know, please correct me if I'm wrong. This is an Anglo-Saxon font. It's not a Norman font or late Saxon, it's Anglo-Saxon. That's very old. That's well over a thousand years old, maybe going to 1,200 years old. If anyone knows a little bit more about that kind of thing, please let me know. An Anglo-Saxon font. There we go, yeah, this church dates from Saxon times. And down the centuries, the word and sacraments of God have been dispensed and prayers and praises offered within its walls. Mm. This oak looks really old, really old. I wonder if it's part of the original church. Some here as well. There's a hatchment up there. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now these must be very rare. We've got two Anglo-Saxon windows right here. Two Anglo-Saxon windows. I mean, what are the chances? With original artwork on one of them still. Glass doors, what's through here? Well, oh, it's a little office where they do the piano and change into their robes. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tale of the murder of the unknown sailor of 1786, the gruesome murder. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And as I say, goodbye from the church in Thursley. We'll see you next time. Take care.